Hello and welcome back to this video series. My name is Mahmood and today I am going to demonstrate how to use uh, Java and Playwright. So how to write Playwright test cases in Java programming language. So without further ado, let's uh, dive in and see how we can write a Maven project um, using Java programming language and write some Playwright test cases in, in it. So I open my Eclipse here. You can see my Eclipse is open. I can go to file, I can create new and from other I can select Maven project. Now here I should click the next button and here I should search for Maven dots simple. I choose this option, click next and here I should define a group ID for my project which is basically the directory of your project and the artifact ID which is basically the name of your project so for now I just give it a demo maybe play write demo and everything I leave as it is and click finish then it will take some time and then it will ask you in the console for example this y enter y and enter it says build success your boilerplate for your playwright maven project is successfully built and it will give you some structure like this so at this point you can go to the playwright.dev java docs intro here you can see some of the installation instructions so for example here you can see this uh, usage uh, getting started by installing playwright and running the example file to see in action so uh, by this time i'm recording this video uh, they have some dependencies mentioned mentioned here but we need something more and i think that is not uh, up to the mark here so for this we have to uh, add some dependencies like uh, first of all like I recommend don't copy don't copy these uh, dependencies here because they are mostly outdated or some uh, let's see what uh, versions we have here so go to the maven repository.com just simply type maven repository and search it will give you um, some search result and this is the website you are going to search for so simply type playwright press enter and you can see this playwright from uh, the com.microscope.playwright thing just click on it and then <coughs> click on the first the most recent version of playwright so I simply copy it by clicking on it and it will say it saying make that the copy to copy to clipboard I go back to my Eclipse project and inside the form.xml file I have to open and then I simply inside the dependencies I should paste it here for now don't worry about the pattern I mean I can I'm gonna show you uh, the way shortcut to restructure your reformat the your code and next thing you will need to add this ng test ng library so this is basically you require for running your test cases so just clicking on the first one and then just click the most recent and then the copy it to clipboard and simply paste it again maybe just below this it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you put it so now after putting this here you can select all by pressing ctrl a and then simply sh mm, press and hold ctrl shift and F it will restructure your uh, pom.xml file format in a very uh, in ordered way save it and then simply go to the test folder here so if you go to this directory source test java and inside this package uh, com.example.playwright.demo.testing you will see one test is already defined for you for now we don't need this test uh, we have to redefine but like for if you click on the run button here it will simply uh, 
perform the test which is written here and give you the result so for example we have the app class test and we have our name of the test is test and we can see that it says that the test is passed which is running from this package and this is the complete address of your uh, test case so if you read it from reverse like you have a test reverse it is inside the app test class and app test class is inside your testing package and this is basically your artifact and the group id that's how you define your project in java or the java convention the next thing you need to do is uh, you have to uh, like if you go to this website again and you see some boilerplates how to write some test cases so for example if you like there are different ways of writing test cases either using the static void main method or by writing in the test class i'm following the test uh, class method so i just copy that this text here and uh, then i go back to the my eclipse and here instead of running okay so now i will remove the existing test and write my own test so by defining a method public void launch browser Okay, so this is the name of the of our test function, which basically launches a browser and do something. So, and then uh, just I have to assign it as a test uh, class annotation, so that the compiler will know that uh, whatever this function, um, wherever we are define this annotation, it uh, considered it as a test function. And you notice that when I write this annotation, it automatically annotate with, with um, like the compiler automatically will uh, pop up with run and debug thing here. So then uh, we have to create some player white object. By defining like this, or maybe I just simply copy and paste and then write some uh, very fast winner um, just for example I go to this website here and I copy this code here from there until this copy and paste the code inside the body of this function then this no, this was previously the part of try command so we remove this and then yeah and then we press Control shift o so that the all required libraries are, should be auto imported so what are we doing here so first of all uh, here for example for this line we are creating a player wide object and we are assigning this object uh, by calling the create method from the player wide class you can see also that this is also player wide module provides a method to launch a browser instance then we are creating a new object of type browser and it assigned with the playwright dot chromium launch like uh, like what we created here the playwright um, object from there we are ad again uh, implementing or calling chromium and launch function then we are creating a page object and assigning the new page method to that uh, browser uh, from the browser to this page object and finally we are going to invoke the page or navigate method and giving us web address so in this case playwright.dev so here uh, what we are getting here we are getting some error because we are adding some extra curly braces when we remove it you can see the compiler are not is not complaining for any further issues and we are good to go so when you click the run 
it will take some little while and process our test and then might give result in a moment okay so you as you notice that it says past com dot example playwright demo dot testing app test dot launch browser which we just created okay now what's next <clears throat> we can also uh, capture or make some screenshot out of it and how do we do this for this we have this first script method here so uh, we can again copy all these different lines of code copy it there is they are pretty similar but there are some differences so just paste it or maybe open a new uh, create a new function so that we can uh, distinguish between the two public void tag screenshot we paste it here we remove these two arrows we refactor our code restructure our code a little bit so that it should follow the convention and finally we don't need this okay just uh, some uh, syntax correction yeah and add some annotation test okay so the first two lines are more or less similar instead of us we are using the web kit here and we are again similarly using the same command as before so instead of like for example we pay to navigate we are going to navigate the page and then take a screenshot and saving it as uh, example1.png so when we save it we see that these paths are like giving us some error what we do we again control shift o and we imported the required paths where is it yeah the paths path library and then we are good to go if we run this again it will again take a little while by processing uh, these test and then simply uh, return some results in our console so we can see that past take screenshot or we have our spelling mistake but no problem and what you can see now you are wondering that where is the file example.png which is not appearing here but if you for example if you click on your project directory and then click refresh button you can see this example.png here so this basically returns your uh, web kit and uh, like what are kind of uh, browsers you have on your machine installed or what kind of browsers they are they are supporting i guess i'm not pretty sure here but if you have any more clarification on this so i would be happy to um, listen from you in the comment section below so yeah this is my ip address so okay next we can also for example um, opening this and um if i for example change i write it again copy the same method and make it for example tag another screenshot make it example one or maybe other example dot png and instead of uh, this i'm giving some other address just to see how it does work and finally i just uh, run this command and then test it so yeah whenever you don't save your code it will ask you so save before running your code and it is always best practice to save your code